Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to Jack in a Castle. Well, uh, last time we finally got to see what was behind that door, and also Jack randomly kissed us for reasons. Anyways, I just a little while ago slept for 14 hours straight, so let's get right into it. Wait, wrong save, damn it. I fall asleep without figuring out anything. The guard looks busy. He walks back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and- Hi! Ah! How'd it go with the intruder? Ah, that. Well, you see, um... It was a disaster! Oh no. M me and my men, we, uh, visited her house. Visited it and kicked the door in, right? Right, well, she wasn't, uh, pre prepared for that, and... But, she, uh, had a heart attack. Uh, I guess. An odd reaction. I, I couldn't do anything. We got her some help, but... But, well, it didn't work out. Man. Yes. It's my fault, isn't it? You couldn't have known that there would be someone out there with the exact same <laughs> uh, description as what you gave. You gave it- you did the best you could, you know? She got scared to death because she accidentally matched my made-up description. Hey, you know... <laughs> uh, this is the problem with no-knock raids, you know? You, if the- you could wind up <laughs> doing a lot of damage for no- for no good reason at all. You know, it's it's, and it's not it's not like she had hostages or anything. She they could have just knocked on her door and said, "Your hey lady, come with us." You know, surrounded the house so that she couldn't ex escape or something like that. But no, they had to kick in the door and give her a heart attack. Oh well, it's sad, but she had it coming for for trespassing in the castle. <laughs> no. Stop, stop coping. <laughs> she didn't. Uh, and anyway, now I have to write my report. I have to get an all, get all the details right, be, be, because there will be an investigation against me. I'm really nervous. What if I forget something? He'll be fine. Yes. Yes, I hope so. The guard leaves. Man, now I feel awful. I should get to work. But I'm not going to waste another minute cutting these fines. They're cursed or something. They're never ending. Perhaps I'll check the kitchen if. What the? The vines are growing. I can see them growing. Like, right before my eyes. I don't know why the capitalization changed right before my eyes, but alright. Gonna check on the king or I have to tell Jack? Let's go check on the king. Obviously. Most of the vines grew around the king. Grew from the king, even. Perhaps. I hope his majesty is okay. As expected, the vines are going wild here. The door is locked. I can't get in. I should get the guard. No, I can't tell him anything. Why did I come here? Get out of the way! Jack! Jack disappears into the king's lair. I hesitate and miss my chance to follow him. God damn it. Soon the vines stop growing. Everything goes quiet. Jack opens the door. What are you standing there for? What happened? Come in. The king is asleep, but he has clearly been trashing around. I think you mean thrashing. <laughs> this bloody spellcaster isn't doing its job anymore. The spell was about to break. Huh? Looks like I'm going to have to cast it more often now. What was that shaking? And the vines? Boy, you are slow. That was the king waking up. Oh. Something finally clicks in my brain. Oh. The vines come from his majesty? So the castle is warping because of the king? Yes, yeah, the old... The old Fisher King sort of deal. You know? I see you're finally catching on. How many times did I already tell you this? Zero! You never told me! 
You just told me he's sleeping because he's miserable. Why do you think I'm keeping him asleep? I don't know! Well, I do, but Marion doesn't know. I don't know. I don't know why you do anything, Jack. His Majesty's negativity is affecting the whole kingdom. But don't worry. A little rest will do the trick. He'll be fine. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? The king is just tired of everything. He just needs some time to take it easy. I'm sure once he is properly rested, he'll feel better. Then he won't curse the place anymore. That's... Do you really think that's all it takes? Look, Marion. I've known the king ever since we were kids. Have you now? Interesting. He's always been a bit moody. And every time he got into one of his bouts of sadness, he would sleep it off. This is the same thing. It's just more sphere this time, so it takes longer. Ah. Huh. I see. And we just have to hold on for now. I guess. Sure, why not? That's right. I'm glad we're on the same page about this. Anyhow. <laughs> now that the Dreamcaster has grown weaker, I really need to show you how to use it. That way we can take turns checking up on his majesty. Huh. I think this is, you know, slightly more than just a bout of moodiness. Yes, Jack taught me how to use the Dreamcaster. He promised to get me a duplicate key to the King's Lair as soon as possible. Sooner, if possible. <laughs> But is that really enough? What if his majesty wakes up anyway? I don't get why Jack is so sure the king will get better with some rest. That is curious. I mean, the, ob the obvious assumption one could make is that he's just, you know, emotionally compromised. But... I don't know all the details here. It, it, it's part... It's, it could be that he's that he's right somehow. That he's <laughs> that he knows something I don't that would lead him to believe this. And I, I don't know if that be the case or it could not be because he just won't tell me he just won't tell me anything without me having to pry it out of him with a fucking crowbar. Oh well. I tried to get some sleep. My mind kept conjuring up nightmare scenarios of the king waking up and going on a rampage. Good morning. Good. Uh, I mean, good. Good morning. I came to give you this. He hands me a letter. Thank you. It, it, it's not for me. Oh, you meant... Ah, never mind. Never mind, see you later. He hurries away. The letter is from my master. He's trying so hard not to ask directly about the king. He must have been, wor been worried someone else might read the letter. Please find the missing socks, he writes. Subtle. The whole town is in urgent need of updates about your carrot growing progress. I mean, things are, I mean, we found them, so it's going fine. Right back that the carrots are growing well. I still need some more time, but it's looking like a good harvest. Yep, this definitely doesn't look like like writing in code in the slightest. Nothing is actually well. The king might awaken and destroy the kingdom for all I know. But Jack trusts me. I won't say a word to anyone. Also, technically speaking, this, our search is going extremely well, so we're not even lying. <laughs> it's nice being out. I've been stuck in the castle for what feels like forever. Unbelievable, it's been months now. Where is the king? Oh, I know, why isn't anyone doing anything? Someone should just overthrow that clown Jack. That's what I'm saying, he isn't even doing anything but giving those awful speeches. <laughs> uh, they're not wrong. I can understand the frustration of the people. Jack could have told the truth about the king. Instead, he's keeping everyone in the dark. And his speeches are awful, too. Still, doesn't mean I don't feel bad for Jack. I return to the castle after sending my letter. You have no idea what's going on, or how well Jack has managed everything. I mean, Toy Boxy isn't burning, is it? There's no war or famine. 
fact, Jack is the only reason the place has been warped to oblivion by their beloved king. Cut me my letter and go back to the castle, fuming with anger. Peasant! <laughs> uh, uh, I see Jack in one of the windows. He must have been watching over me. I wave at him. He seems surprised and waves back. I had no idea your vision was so sharp. I just assumed it's as dull as everything else about you. Thank you, Jack. I find your will as dull as I am. Lovely. Now if you're done, follow along. I follow Jack to his room. He hands me a key. Here, a duplicate key, as promised. I've left the Dreamcaster in the chest by the bed. I'll cast a spell during evenings, you in the mornings. Tag, this won't fix anything! Excuse me? The king is dangerous! I know that! What if he wakes up? What do you think we're trying to do here? The king won't wake up, I'm making sure of it! And one day you fail to do that, what then? I won't fail! What if you fall on some stairs and break your neck? What then? Then my lovely stand-in Marion takes care of it! What if I stumble down the stair as well? Downs? <laughs> Then I'd say something really needs to be done about the stairs. Jack! Marion! Fine. This isn't going anywhere. I'll help you, of course, but we have to find some better solution. There was never a disagreement about that. Now, since you have the key, why don't you go test it out? Trying to get rid of me, huh? Yes. Now go. Jack won't listen to me at all. The key works fine. The spellcaster works fine too. The king sleeps with a frown. I frown back at him. Some king this is, all he does is sleep or destroy things. Am I supposed to want to help him? Only helping... Only helping Jack or I'll help of course. Hmm. hmm. I'm only helping Jack. If up to me, I'd leave this guy to rot. Jack is doing fine as the new king. <laughs> the sleeping majesty. I mean, it's, he could hardly do worse. <laughs> if Jack, his sleeping majesty hates the world so bad, how about he just end himself? No, he should take his misery out on the rest of the world. Yeah, exactly. Fucking misanthropes. They want, they hate themselves so badly. They can fucking take. They can fucking take themselves out, not spread their misery to everyone else. Yeah. I can't stay here. I'm getting too upset. Goliathos and his men are chopping down vines. Uh, hello, Mart. That's useless. They'll grow back. Er, what? The... the vines? Yeah, I've been cutting them for weeks now, but here we are. I mean, maybe we could cu cut them fast enough, like get a whole fucking dedicated team of people with axes and shit. Maybe we could cut them faster than they grow. I don't know. They... they really grew a lot the other day. Must have been, uh, because of the rain? like he's avoiding answering me. Why do you keep cutting them? Well, um, it's just... We all have to walk through here, so... Oh, right. You're such a man, Goliathos. I can't tell if that's a compliment or an insult. Oh, okay, compliment. You're such a man, Goliathos. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Er, the, um, thank you? You're out here doing what you can. Like a hero. It, uh, it isn't that big of a deal. I wish I had a man like you. Huh? I, I, I mean, I wish I was a man like you. Well, uh, um, y you can do it. I believe in you. Right, right. We take out some vines together. A letter has been placed on the table. It's from Master. I'm delighted about the carrots, he writes. I hope you will bring some home soon. We have no other carrots at this point in time. The harvest has been bad. Please stay in good health and keep me updated on the delicate growing process. Master has no idea how bad things are going, but I can't tell him either, and I'm not sure I'd want to. He's getting old. I don't know if his heart could handle the situation. <sighs> I wish the king would just die. That would solve all these problems. I should get some sleep. My thoughts are getting too grim for my own liking. <sighs> I 
supposed to cast a spell in the mornings, right? I should get it over with. What are you doing here? Force of habit. Or well, perhaps I'm here to see if you'd show up or not. Well, I did. So you did. Congratulations. Amazing, fantastic, and wonderful. Well, he seems to be in a great mood. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, if you don't mind, hurry up and cast the spell. Right. I cast the spell, and the glow grows stronger. Do it again! Why? It's dim! Even dimmer than the other day! I cast the spell once more. The glow is ever so slightly stronger. One more time? Yes, do it. I cast the spell again, but nothing changes. That just means it's fully active now. I'll drop by later to refresh it and that's that. Alright. What's wrong? What do you think? This is the right thing to do. Yes. Yes, you think so too. Yeah, probably. We will keep doing this, even if it means we have to come cast a spell every other hour. Man, I hope it doesn't come down to that. Quit complaining. This is what you get paid for. Fair enough. I have to get back to some other business. Yeah. I should go cut some more vines. They're back by now, I'm sure. I'm so sick of vines. I'll go in the kitchen instead. Oh, Marion, I was hoping you'd show up. Here I am. What do you need? Those pesky vines are starting to creep in. God damn it. <laughs> Would you mind cutting them down? Ugh, vines again. <laughs> just, there's just no end to them. I'm sure it'll be easier once the winter comes. It won't. The weather has nothing to do with it. Yeah, sure. Oh no! Another quake. Can't be happening again. Hmm? Are you okay? Ah, I'm fine. It's just... Maybe I shouldn't tell you, but... What is it? Hmm, fine. You should know it too. Before the castle got warped, there were a lot of little earthquakes like that. And then they just stopped. So I hoped that was that. But now they're back! I hope it doesn't mean the castle has started warping again. It could be. I wish I could just get out of here. What's stopping you? Oh, uh, you know, the usual. I have to keep my family fed. I just hope I don't get hurt during the warping. Or get hit by something during the quakes. Yeah. I do my best to keep the vines out of the kitchen. The cook gives me a smile, but we both know it's useless. It's still early, but I'm exhausted. I should call it a day. Marion! Or not. Hello, Jack. I've been doing some thinking. A dangerous pastime. What a coincidence. Me too. But yours is irrelevant. I've concluded that the Dreamcaster is useless. Hmm? Yep. Therefore, I need to find the witch who gave it to me and demand a new one. Oh, come on. What? It's not that the Dreamcaster has grown weak, it's that the, it's the king's negativity that is growing stronger. Or, or maybe he's just g getting more of a resistance to dream, into sleep magic and all that. So you say, but what proof do you have? Even if you do get another Dreamcaster, so what? Is this going to keep happening over and over? And eventually there won't be a Dreamcaster that's strong enough. Again, what do you base this claim on? Ah, enough Jack! We can't keep delaying the inevitable like this. Oh, the inevitable? Do tell me what that is, Marion. His majesty needs, needs to die. Come again? He's not just, he's not gonna just sleep it off, Jack. He's gone mad. How dare you talk about his majesty this way? We both know how this ends. Do we now? Just look at this place. You keep dilly-dallying around while the castle rots around us. You're the king! Do something! Well? Are you quite finished, Marion? <sighs> I'm sorry, Jack. I apologize. I spoke out of line. I won't take it back, though. I meant what I said. You've gotten stubborn. I don't like it. I'm not here for you to like me. The king stays asleep. 
Lucid. Our next move is to, is to somehow find the witch without leaving the king unattended. That's all I needed for you, from you today. Alright, Jack is definitely angry at me. But I don't regret my words at all. Jack isn't stupid. He'll, mm, he'll come around. <laughs> I don't know about either of those statements. I hope. Yeah. Fair enough, I suppose. Uh, damn, what a shit show. Uh, another quake. Let Jack take care of it. Okay, I can't leave it up to him. Might have slept through it. Everything is normal here. Looks like Jack did come take care of it. This is so stupid. There his majesty sleeps, only causing trouble. I could kill Jack's precious king right here and now. And Jack could have me killed then. But wouldn't I die a hero? Not that anyone would know. Still, I don't fancy myself a martyr. You just keep on sleeping. Well, I still let you. Make sure I lock the door after me. Marion! There you are! Back again, I'm so sick of seeing his face already. Looks like it wasn't all you needed today after all. I don't pay you to have an attitude. Besides, I clearly said that yesterday. It's still yesterday, all the way until morning. Don't be ridiculous, it's tomorrow after midnight. What an inane <laughs> conversation to be having. Anyway, anyhow, that doesn't matter one bit. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Get back in the lair. So here we are again. You said his majesty needs to die. But why is that? <sighs> because, Jack, you're the one saying his grief or whatever is going to warp everything around him. And that he went mad and will wreak havoc. So, we just kill toys who don't behave accordingly. Yeah? I mean, that's how the justice system works. I mean, unless you don't have the death penalty, I suppose. I want to yell. I want to punch this bastard in the face 10,000 times. I mean, if you ha if anyone else would say like, oh yeah, we're gonna fucking I'm gonna destroy the I'm gonna destroy the kingdom and kill everyone and such, and was actually trying to do actively trying to do that, you would probably have him executed. <laughs> but don't put words in my mouth. I didn't know such thing. I'm simply framing this differently for you. Is that why you, what you came here for? You figure out how to make me look like the villain, so you ran here headfirst to tell me. I thought there might be a better reason why you're so willing to kill his majesty. It can't be that you're only worried about something that might never happen. You're reaching for the knife when the status quo would do just fine. Enough, Jack. We both know how it is. Please enlighten me. What do you mean this time? Why do you keep arguing with me if I'm wrong? Just fire me. Aren't you just looking for me to convince you? Ha! That's a mighty fine delusion. It's because once I prove you wrong, I know I'm right. <sighs> Don't you think you gave me this key to get me to do the dirty work? Then you can pretend you didn't know. So I take all the blame and you don't have to feel bad. You give me too much credit. I gave you the key because I trust you. And because you're right about one thing. I can't afford to risk the king waking up, simply because I'm too busy or dead to cast the spell. So help me, Marion. I am helping! Oh my good grief. Is this ever going to end? Probably once the king wakes up and ends the world. That's it. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Good night, Marion, you pest. King is going to destroy the toy boxian as we know it, because of Jack's stupid sentimentality. Fat chance I can sleep. And should I be going to sleep at this point anyway? It's like five seconds until dawn. Uh, Jack, I don't... Marion? Sylvester climbs in from the window. Oh, hello. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. It's been a while since I heard anything from you or Bunny. Oh yeah, I've been a bit, uh... I see. Any news about the king? 
Lester has no idea. Well, maybe you should tell him then. After all, wasn't your worry not, not wanting to become a martyr? Well, if Sylvester were to sneak in and off him. Hmm. That might be traceable back to you. Unless, of course, he stole Jack's key. Hang on, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. If we could, if we could give Marion an alibi, have him steal Jack's key so it wouldn't look like Marion was aiding him. Hmm. It might seem like they were, that perhaps they were sneaking in to kill the king in the first place, but, but we'd have to convince Sylvester to kill the king, which would be, which could be troublesome. Although it might be easier than last time. Hmm. I could explain it all to him. Marion? But I don't want to. Who is this person anyway? No, nothing. Damn it. That's unfortunate. Keep at it. I'm sure you'll find something out soon. And hold your breath. I should leave. Sorry to disturb you. Damn it. Off he goes. I'll probably never come back. Good. Don't stick your nose into our business, outsider. Okay, then. I sleep in. Jack is going to be furious with me. It was my job to cast a spell during mornings. To my surprise, Jack isn't here. The glower on the king is weak, too. I quickly cast a spell. Weird. Why isn't Jack here? No, actually, it's not weird. Jack trusted me to do this. Of course he just assume I'll do it, even if we have a fight. I almost screwed the whole castle up just now, huh? I should grow up. Vines. Vines everywhere. As ever. Many of them have been sliced off recently. Slices get sloppier and sloppier as I go forward. The guard's sword must have dulled around this point. She really get axes or something. Or maybe machetes or a nice bill hook. I wander around the castle aimlessly for a while. I keep expecting to run into Jack, but I don't. Hmm. Curious. Let's see what he's up to then. Fine. So I might want to see him. Fine. Fine. I hope he isn't mad at me. Nothing. Jack? No answer. That in itself is an answer, isn't it? Ah, no, no, no. Don't read into it. He's just not in his room right now. I'll try again later. As expected, all the vines I slaved away to cut are back. Hi there. Hi. What's wrong? Jack. It's Jack. I think I made him mad. Oh, wait. I was, I was thinking, because he yes, asked what's wrong, and I responded, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> because he is wrong. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's not how Marion interpreted it, I guess. I think it made him mad. Yikes! Getting on the bad side of our king! Huh? Oh, that's right. Other toys respect Jack. Well, some of them, anyways. Somehow that completely slipped my mind. Well, don't worry. We're so short-staffed right now, he can't afford to execute you! <laughs> you have a surprisingly morbid sense of humor. I begrudgingly cut the vines with more. Frankly, he's so fucking soft, I don't think he'd be willing to execute me, even if I- even if he weren't so short-staffed. Clearly not willing to execute anyone, even for crimes against the world. It occurs to me that since these vines come from the king, maybe the king feels me cutting them. Just the thought makes the activity a little less horrible. <laughs> Take that, you son of a bitch! Keep testing me, see what happens. I'll cut you right up. Every time. Oh, that being said, perhaps the, all the cutting... Uh, if he does feel them, maybe that's why he <laughs> hasn't become less miserable. Uh, no, probably not. I mean, how could he be, be less miserable if he's sleeping all the time? He doesn't even exactly have time to change his mind. Oh, well. <laughs> Still no sight of Jack. Is he avoiding me? Really? Would he do something- would he do something petty like that? Yes. He would. 
He so would. Just to make me run around and worry like this. Well, joke's on you. You want to avoid me that bad? I'll quit. Good luck keeping the king to sleep all you by yourself. <sighs> I don't know. I should just see what happens tomorrow before I make any assumptions. I'm away to my room. I see one of the servants' room. One of the servant rooms has a light on. I didn't think there were other servants staying on this wing. I decided to go say hello. It's Jack. No one is here. Did someone just come grab something and leave the light on? <laughs> yep, saw that one coming. Jack! What are you doing here? I got tired of moping my room. So I, just, so I came here to came to mope here instead. A change in scenery is a change in mind. Uh right. And I did have a change in mind, did you? Unfortunately. Oh? <laughs> You're right. Let's get it over with. All of a sudden, I've thought about it over and over, but alas, I don't see any other way. I was casting the spell on his majesty today, and I had to do it several times before it took any effect. So, it's time I put the king out of his misery. Yes. Tomorrow, do you understand? Are you sure? Why do you ask that? Do you want me to change my mind? No, of course not. Just making sure you aren't gonna change your mind. <laughs> then tomorrow it is. That's all I have to say. Jack? Yes? You've got a kingdom to run. Indeed I do. My kingdom. Bow down to your king, peasant. <laughs> That's right. Tomorrow, Marion. Don't be late. Tomorrow. Alright. Finally, this missing king mess comes to an end. And much, and much, much smoother than last time. Hopefully. I walk around looking for something to kill a sleeping man with. Alright. Uh, well, I say that was a sudden change of heart, but to be fair... It, it, it did take a whole day of moping around and ruminating on it. And hey, I guess rumin uh, I guess ruminating really was his, the best use of his time. After, after all, a, a knife comes to mind, but I don't know how to ask the cook for it. Hey cook, could I borrow a knife? Wait. I mean, what have you been cutting the the vines with, then. Why don't you just get that? Like, excuse me, Annette. Can I get a knife for no reason? Thank you. Blythos has a sword, but I doubt he'll part with it. Suppose I could find a rope. Again, what have you been cutting the the vines with this whole time? And why can't you just use that? I find Jack in his tower, as expected. Horrendous morning. I search my mind for something tactful to say. How do you want to do this? I don't. How will we do this? His Majesty has a sword, but I will not harm him with that. But I told Goliathos I saw some rats in the garden. He lent me one of his daggers. Whenever you're ready. Jack takes an extraordinarily a, an extraordinary long time with everything. I think you mean extraordinarily. All right. The king rests peacefully. Jack looks ready to back out. This needs to be done. I know. Do you want me to do it? No, I'll do it. He doesn't. I wait. Jack has the dagger, but it's not pointed at the king. I don't know why exactly, but I know he won't do it. Something about his posture, or maybe the look on his face. I can't do it. There it is. Jack. I can't do it, Marion. He's my king. He's not gonna do it. I'm gonna have to do it for him. I yank the dagger from Jack's hand and stab the king in the chest. That's one way to do it. To my utter horror, the blade doesn't sink in as I thought it would. The king starts thrashing, thrashing and howling in his sleep. He must have gotten blocked by the rib cage. I panic and start stabbing the king repeatedly. It should have gone for the neck. The king stops moving. Well, that's sure. That's sure. Not gonna be traumatizing in the slightest for Jack. 
and the glow around his majesty fades away. Or me, for that matter. Wonderful, Marion. Just... great. That was the worst. Odd substance to be covered with. I guess he really did have blue blood. That was the worst way his majesty's life could have ended in this situation. Yeah, it was. Ah! Quiet! What's done is done. We need to figure out how to bury his majesty. <laughs> He's supposed to be missing! Will you shut up? Are you suggesting we leave his majesty to rot until someone follows the stench and finds him? No. Jack lays the king's head back on the pillow and tucks him in. As if the king is going back to sleep. I want to be alone with the king. Go get my box. It's in, it is in my room. Yeah. And clean yourself up before someone sees you. So are we just going to uh, continue having the king be missing? Then? Uh. I mean, uh. If the king's already dead and and the danger is past, then I guess then we don't have to worry so much about the about the, toy, about the peasantry doing something rash out of fear. At least we don't have to worry quite so much about that. So we just could tell them that. But then again, telling them that oh yeah, the king was totally gonna kill you. You're uh, going to destroy the world or whatever, and that's why we killed him. You know, after we killed him, that feels. Somehow even more suspicious than saying that before we kill him. Hmm. <laughs> uh, whatever. I maneuver Jack's box down from the tower and then back up to the king's chamber. We place the king in the box. Jack locks it up. Then we carry the box into the hallway together. Round up the guards. I'm going to claim my throne. I have no idea what he's planning, but I do what he says. Soon the guards arrive, and I'm told to get lost. The next day, Jack has his guards carry the box to town, along with some dead wood. I doubt they have any idea what's inside. Jack announces that, the that since the king has been missing for so long, that his majesty is declared dead. Oh, that's... Huh. That actually makes sense. I'm surprised he went for it. It's still... Obviously still, sus still suspicious, but not nearly as much as if... <laughs> explain what actually happened. Yeah. He will inherit the throne and shed his identity as a jack-in-the-box. Then in a grand gesture he sets his old box on fire. Huh! <laughs> Alright then, as long as you keep it far enough away that they don't notice the smell of... I was about to say burning flesh, but then I realized they're all toys, so yeah, it'll just smell like burning wood or cloth or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually pretty smart. <laughs> Smarter than I expected from Jack. <laughs> the crowd seems to accept this, though there are no cheers. It is a day of mourning. It is a morning of day. <laughs> I take some time off and go back home to my master. The master and the others are dying to know what I found out about the king. I'm torn should I tell them or not. I pretend I don't know anything, then return to the castle for some, for some more investigation. Honestly, I'm just happy to go back so I don't have to deal with this dilemma. Jack expresses his gratitude, but he never approaches me just to spend time. I tell myself it's because he's busy ruling Toyboxian, but deep down I know he hates me for what I did to the king. Hmm. Alright. That was... Yet another ending, I suppose. I mean, well, things went, in a lot of ways, significantly better than the previous one. There wasn't a whole fucking riot. Uh, fucking riot. Uh, we didn't have- we didn't have to deal with Bunny quite as much. And Jack survived, which is probably good. <laughs> but still, uh, the ending was, ra uh, was rather grim and traumatizing, to say the least. For Marion and, ja and for Jack. So, you know what? I, I think... No. I'm sure 
that we can do better. So, until next time, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers! You're gonna be okay, kid.